Hello everybody, I'm Charlotte Hutchings, a PhD student in Catherine Lilly's lab at the University of Cambridge and I'm currently using the spatial proteomics methods developed in the Lilly lab to investigate adeno-associated viruses and how these viruses are able to exit HEC293 cells during the manufacturing of adeno-associated viral vectors. So prior to this, I did my undergraduate and my master's degrees at Imperial College London, and that's where I first became interested in gene therapy. And after deciding that I wanted to look into gene therapy for my PhD, I accidentally ended up in the world of proteomics because these methods were able to help me answer my question. So since stepping into the world of proteomics only a year ago now, I've learned a whole lot of new things and met a whole lot of interesting people. But one thing I found really useful uh, was joining the Hoopo ECR, which allowed me to network with other PhD students, postdocs, and uh, professors and people higher up in their careers as well. And recently we actually organized an online panel discussion in which I think it was Lennart Martins who gave some great advice and basically said to us early career researchers that we need to think about where the field is going and we need to think where the field will be in 10 years time and start trying to do that now or preparing ourselves, putting ourselves in a position to be there in 10 years time. And two things that I think will be really important for the field of proteomics going forwards is firstly the idea that computational biologists are not just computational biologists. We don't have to be bioinformaticians, but I think everyone should have a good understanding of data and data processing and what the assumptions are in their data when they're doing the data processing. So I think it's really important for researchers and wet lab researchers to also understand the bioinformatics that they're doing at the data processing stage. The second thing I think will be really important going forwards in the field is the idea of integrating data from different methods. So we all know that each method provides huge amounts of data and that each method has various assumptions and limitations. And therefore the only way in which we can get the full picture of what's going on inside the cell or our system is to integrate data from different sources and different methods. Um, and a really great example is the integration that's going on at the minute through machine learning, which is linking proximity labeling, uh, fluorescence imaging data. And I think that this will only be expanded and continue to expand over the next 10 years. So I'm excited to see where the field goes. And for anyone that's new to the field of proteomics, my biggest thing, my biggest piece of advice would definitely be to just put yourself out there, get involved, network and meet people and take advantage of all the advice that people want to share with you.